What are you up to? <laughs> Frank and I here back in Florida. So we just left Durham Town last night. And now we're back in Florida. The other guys are heading north because they're going home. We're not going home because we don't live in Florida. What we are going to do is get our other wedge trailer. And we're buying a truck from Cletus McFarland. So our friend Jonathan, who owns the Plum Crazy Mega Truck that's done burnout burnouts at Cletus and Cars before. Great guy. He gave us a ride down here to come get the truck. So we're going to get on the road and uh, go pick up the truck, go get our trailer, and then start heading north. And hopefully, find something else to put on this trailer to head north with. Got a with few him. things in mind. Yeah, so. Got a few things in mind, but Frank and I are good at uh, bringing back surprises, so can't just have a 53-foot trailer and not fill it up. So we're gonna try. Limited. Oh yeah, baby, we're in the new blog hauler. This is a 2022 Ram 3500 Dually Limited Cummins. Or Cummins for most uh, people who actually read the real badge. But yeah, we bought this from Cletus McFarland. Uh, why? Because we've needed a truck for several months now. Another one, I should say. So we've got two wedge trailers. We need two trucks that are capable of towing said trailer. So, sorry, Frankie, that was not your truck. R.I.P. I broke my back. Excited to have this in the fleet. This is what we need. Good, solid equipment. Well, boys, like we've been telling you, this has been one expensive trip. Yeah, it's... You uh, see this guy? You've already seen that video. Yeah, Battlefield is uh, on the trailer. The Pro-R is over there. We need to load that on the trailer. We'll talk about that in a minute. We need a way to get this trailer home. You guys know what it is. Boom, right there. You know the truck. There we go. Earth moving, dude. That's like an excavator. <laughs> this is Cletus's 2022 Ram Cummins, the whole deal, 3500 Limited. Great truck. We've been uh, driving it around a little bit. Very nice piece. Very excited to have this thing. Yes. So it's uh, it's got its work cut out for it. We're gonna put her to use right away. Got the wedge. Got Battlefield, the Pro R, and. Uh, I think there's one other thing that's coming back with us that also came down here but didn't quite make it under its own power. So Frankie's truck, <laughs> sounds like we're putting that on the back and uh, taking that up to Timmy Gentry. So only thing left is, uh, I shouldn't say the only thing left, but first thing is to hook this wedge up. I think the people are maybe wondering about how we did this here. Oh yeah, I mean it's... So here's your, uh, your bed lines. Like that's, uh, you know, Pretty much less than a finger here. We get over to here, we got a little bit of a gap. Like what we said, we had to wedge on. We had a table sitting back in here. The table flopped up, got wedged under the trailer, and when we turned in to the Freedom Factory. Yeah, it looks like there's some evidence of foul some play. Evidence right, there. right here. It literally pushed the box side right over. So how far was it? Before <clears throat> I mean, you guys ratchet strapped Before it. we ratchet strapped this back, I could put three fingers in here. Oh. Three of them. All three, boom. So we literally tied off to the post over there and then that bedside over there with two different bungee stra or, or, uh, ratchet straps and got her on this side and just reefed it and it kind of went, it went a long way, so. Yeah, blog body work, good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Gotta do what you can. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, yeah, let's Anyways, uh, big thanks to Cletus for uh, letting us uh, get our hands on this thing. You know, we're uh, kind of in a pinch. And you can't really find trucks like this anywhere right now, so big thanks No, especially to the the addition that we're, you know, you guys want, you know, air cruise tilt, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> can't have crank windows. Yeah, yeah, no crank windows. And we felt really bad about the bed getting messed up on Correct. the brand new truck. He wouldn't even let us take this thing to Walmart the last time we were here, which, you know, turns out probably a good deal. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's hook this thing up and start loading. All right. Yeah, you just seen that happen. This one's got something else added to it, though. A little bit. Yeah. Now there's another switch he can hit. Whoa. What are you doing, Billy? Oh, yeah. You got her. Hey, just like that. No big deal. Flip the switch. Now we're actually putting air in the bags. 
We're gonna see how far it'll actually lift the truck up. Oh, well, Eddie. Turns out, <laughs> turns out it was already in the, uh... <laughs> all right, never mind. We can redo that. All right, now let's check out some other cool features in this truck. Oh, isn't that cool? All right. Oh, no, no, no. All right, Leo, sorry. We're gonna try and get this in one shot here. Check that out, isn't that sweet? No, we ain't got no blue man crew doing that either. Oh man, he went so far the wrong way. Eddie! <laughs> this is take three, so maybe this ain't gonna work. <laughs> this ain't gonna work at all. A few moments later. Oh, yeah. Frankie back in his natural habitat, operating equipment, so. You guys know the Pro-R, she's seen some stuff. She's in real rough shape. Uh, Heavy D rolled this thing, trying to drive on two wheels, doing some crazy stuff. And it just doesn't move because there's something locking up the wheel, tie rods broke, so we ain't got time to mess around. We're just gonna pick it up and, yeah, put it on the trailer. The suspension's drooped down so far, it's not, uh... Just squat in. Okay, the right yeah, way. okay, so yeah, we just turned the turned the ignition on and got the old power steering fired up, or maybe we didn't, but it's down enough, so not, yeah, we're, we're inside the rail. Off, so. Yeah, we can strap that and what? drive right over it or what? Yeah, drive right over it. Flip it. That's a cowboy right there. Jeez, oh man, look at that. Good work up there. That's uh, that's the spot we need it to be in. Yes, sir. So we've got uh, we got lug nuts off of battlefield because we stole those to put on uh, Cletus's machine so he could do the side by side race for the Freedom 500. It looks like uh, yes, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to get a couple lug nuts on these to uh, get the wheels sucked in because it's pretty far off right now. There's just some Harbor Freight ratchet straps holding those on. So we'll get those things going and. We'll let you know where we're at after that. But that was pretty easy. Hey, good work on that piece of equipment. Oh yeah, serious load here. We got uh, these two things strapped down. Marginally, we got the KO. Oh yeah, that thing's a beaut. We got the monkeys. And it's time to head on over to uh, Jade Diesel's house, pick up your truck, and then we gotta get on the road. We gotta go home. Yeah, it's hotter than hell out here right Whoa, now. why is this not focusing? Well, this is doing some crazy stuff. On that camera. Yeah. Finger must have stuck. Sorry about that. Zoom, bad. All right, let's go. Hot. Hey, what is that thing over there? Where? That one. I don't know. First time seeing it ever. Oh, yeah. Well, I hear it's got to go on that trailer. Yeah, yeah it's got to go on that trailer. I heard something about. Is, like, what? What's the good news? It's not coming home with us, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I heard something about an army truck or something going to pull it up on the trailer. Ah, uh, yeah, sounds like uh, you ain't got nothing. No sky tracks or anything around here, but he's got a big army truck with a lot of power. Uh huh. Man, you let anybody at this residence. Who is over there, dude? <laughs> he won't leave. He was supposed to leave yesterday. He made up some excuse about his flight being canceled. Oh, yep. Heard about that. He doesn't want to, I wouldn't want to go back to Kansas City if yeah. I fly. But... Yeah. All right, so heard some army truck's going to put this thing on that? Or, uh... I think so. Goodness, dude. What is going on with these freaking razors? Holy. Cowboys. Wow. Cowboys. So basically, we got a scrap load going back home. Yeah, literally. yeah. Like literally, <laughs> scrap, scrap, scrap. A little longer than a few minutes later. Fuel pump sounds good. Oof. Yeah. It's gonna hit with a. Ooh. Hang on a second. Yeah. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, is this gonna is this gonna guess where we need to go or what? Oh, might have enough power. What if we just ran the truck over with it? 
Huh? Huh? Oh, I gotta get out of the way. Jeez Louise, I'm gonna get ran over. Oh man, I almost fell. I'm in a good spot here. I'm actually in a really bad spot. All right, it's go time. We got the army truck hooked up. Frankie truck. Oh, yeah. You hear that? That's how you know it's going to work. Also know it's going to work because Nick Savage is standing up in the Pro R. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's guaranteed. Good luck. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, the wheels are hanging off a little bit. That isn't great. You're good. The wheels are going to hang off the back, but nothing we can really do. You got a ways to go. Three feet. Good. KO. Yeah, here's the load. Um, we're gonna actually be pushing this over a little bit um, with JH Diesel's neighbor's uh, motorhome because it hangs off a little bit. Straps are just on there as mock up So yeah, we're gonna redo that. Yep. And then I hit the road. Guess we gotta take Nick Savage somewhere. So oh my gosh, he's, he's coming he's for real. He's riding in the Duramax on the way to the airport, FYI. Look at him. Hey, which truck are you riding in? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, that sounds good. Great right, spot right. for him. <laughs> Great spot. Yeah, let's hit the road. All right, literally, I don't know how this happened, but just look in the back seat. Now, hold on now. Now, where did we just, we just came from JH, just got the truck. All loaded up, ready to go. We're heading north. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Dad is back. That's Nick Savage, brother. <laughs> what is a Nick Savage? I don't know. He needs a ride to the airport. I mean, is it a Savage sandwich? <laughs> <sighs> Somehow I was planning on leaving JH's house with only one broke dick thing, and now we have. Two we mean one. Dicks. We got three broke. Oh yeah, you're right. We got, <laughs> so we got four. We got a ton of broke dicks. <laughs> <It's not> real. <laughs> All right. Holy fuck! The deer ran out across. Yeah, that was crazy. Crazy. We missed him. We're Where'd on the go? road though. We're doing good. On the road. <clears throat> yeah, this thing's got a lot of power. I'm excited to see how it'll do on the highway. This is probably. Well, I don't know. Let's do some math here. I'm not gonna say how much this weight is because it's definitely under capacity. Correct. But I'm just going to do some math and figure it out in my head. We're going to hit the road. And we're going to drop him off, hopefully pretty soon. On the side of the highway. <laughs> Not nice. Chuck him. All right. We got one. We're rid of one hooligan. We're going to leave him right here at the gas station. Flying J. Good time for him. Take our selfie together real quick. Yeah, let's do that. We're leaving you here. Sorry, guys. I got a lot of lizard I got to go take care of. So. <laughs> See you later. A few minutes later. Man, this guy looks familiar. Oh, That's yeah. what Shakira was doing. Oh. Not good. Hey, we're doing really good though. We are. Knock on wood, this truck is pulling super good. Very impressed with it. It's very comfortable. Fuel is doing pretty good on fuel. I think we're getting about the same that we do in Larry. I think we're around, I saw six and a half, almost seven. So pretty good. I mean, this is a pretty heavy load that we got behind us you know still obviously we're legal for weights and stuff like that but clearly yeah we got about a half tank run this thing out get some food Frank will take over driving I'll do some stuff on the computer and yeah keep on keep we're gonna on get on the computer and get you your parts coming oh yeah in case yep. you guys didn't know that's what he does 
you know, you know, head on over to SideBySideBlogParts.com. Every time you order something off there, you get entered into a chance to get your entire purchase price refunded. Say it every video because it's a really good deal. Someone's got to win it. Might as well be you. So buy your stuff. Do it every month. Also head over to Rocky Mountain ATV through our affiliate link below. Same program there. Anything you order gets you entered into a chance to get your entire purchase price refunded. Doing it every month. So go buy some good stuff for your machine. Your machine deserves it. You do too. Wow. That is a nice screen. What is not nice Oof. is that. Yeah, so the whole reason why uh, we're not going we had to back riding back. further up north in Kentucky or Tennessee like we planned is inclement weather. And as you can see by those clouds, inclement weather has shown up in our front door. So yeah. uh, it's supposed to be rain pretty much the whole way home. Hopefully uh, not too bad. Hopefully it won't slow us up too bad. But it's not looking great. Early the next morning. Well, we're, we're just starting to hit the mountains and uh, really start to feel the power of this unit. Torque, I should say. Yeah, this is uh, it's a good truck. It's got a lot of power. We've got about, I don't know, 10 hours of seat time in it. So I feel like we're able to make a, you know, give an educated and uh, thoughtful review on the truck, you know, thus far. So, you know, we've got the 2020 Super Duty as well, Larry. Great truck, had that for 70,000 miles. I've had pretty much no issues with it. We've only had uh, one visit to the dealership was for a Knox sensor, and that was covered under warranty. Um, outside of that, we put tires on it, changed the oil, and uh, fuel filters, regular maintenance. It's been a great truck. Um, so both of these trucks have you know, some stuff that one does a little bit better than the other. So for the Ram, I mean, and these aren't, you know the same trim level trucks unfortunately that we're comparing so it's hard to you know give a 100 percent accurate review there but it's what we got so it's what we're gonna do so this is a limited this is top dog you know can't get any more truck uh, from ram as far as uh, trim level goes larry's lariat a couple more trim levels and, ahead of that and in my opinion it's better than some because like i don't know if he took the sunroof out or what yeah, we don't have a sunroof in Larry either. I know, so, which is awesome. I yeah, hate sunroofs. Yeah, we don't. Well, need, it was leak. Yeah, we don't need the sunroof. That's uh, not something we really care about. Right. So, um, yeah, it's a well optioned truck, obviously. Yeah, this Same. this blacked out uh, trim inside here is really cool. It's like a black chrome. I don't know if that's coming in chrome in the picture or not, but it's black. Pretty sexy. Yeah, super nice stuff. Aesthetically, I think the Ram looks better than the, than the Ford. Uh, like this giant radio screen we have here. Um, on that note, unfortunately, it's seemingly a challenge to get my phone to connect with this and get the you know, Google Maps and stuff pulled up, which is kind of annoying. I want to be able to utilize this, you know, sweet screen to its fullest extent and have had Bluetooth and USB issues connecting to it. So that's kind of annoying. I feel like it should be pretty seamless at this point. I don't have some exotic phone. It's an iPhone. It works pretty much in everything. Um, so that's annoying. Um, I don't know if this has a really small exhaust fluid tank or if it just goes through it, but man, like, we got to, I don't know, where did we get? North of Atlanta, yeah, last night, and had to fill up the def already. Like, it was, I think, between half and quarter full. So that was kind of annoying. We can, you know, run this whole trip from Michigan to Florida uh, the Super Duty, and not even have to worry about you know deaf on the way there. You can make it one way and the thing deaf, no problem. This thing you're going to have to get deaf on the way. We are pulling a little heavier. Than, yeah, uh, that is a good point. Normal. You know, we're we're definitely within the legal requirements, but I mean we're we're pretty much loaded as uh, as heavy as we've ever been. So that is a fair point to make. I will give you that. Um, but look at that. I mean, the trans temps in this thing are just insane. Like. 20 degrees lower yeah as far as cooling goes like even when we were running through florida last night when it was night or 90 degrees out like transmission temperatures in this truck were consistently 20 to 30 degrees cooler than that super duty so that's pretty cool yeah, and the oil temp stayed lower along with it yeah pretty much every temperature so they got the cooling figured out in this truck yeah, pretty impressed there um power wise like both of them are really strong 
Uh, and it's, again, hard to gauge because I think this is heavier than we've pulled with Larry, but um, leaning towards the, the Super Duty being, you know, having more grunt than this truck. And 10-speed transmission probably has something to do with that. This is, you know, the transmission in this is a little bit more busy than that Super Duty is. Like, that Ford will hold gears pretty good. It seems like it likes being loaded down, whereas this likes more RPM than the Ford does. Yeah, which is uh, crazy because the Ford's a 10-speed. Right. This is still a uh, 6-speed. Yeah. Um, but either way, still impressed with how this is doing. Huge, huge haul behind us. I mean, no disrespect to this truck, but I think that the Ford seemingly has more power. Um, what else? Oh, hit that button in the center over there. <laughs> we found this last night. Whoa. So I've had a couple uh, Rams in my days, and I always thought that'd be a cool option to have power fold-out mirrors, and apparently they got it now. Yeah, I don't know if in like a Platinum or a Limited Super Duty, if I thought this was cool too, if you're able to get the tow mirror portion of the mirror to electronically move, but both parts of the mirror, the you know, the regular mirror and the tow mirror portion, you can control electronically from in the truck. So that's nice. The lower part of the Super Duty mirror, you have to manually adjust. So um, I like that from not having to get outside. So. Right. Uh, but what else? Interior comfort, I mean, they're, they have very different feels to them. Like you almost feel like you're sitting up on top of this truck, whereas in the Super Duty, you can get a little bit you know, lower, I feel. I like, feel I feel like we're going towards the uh, Polaris K&M. Oh yeah, 100%. You know, yeah, that's a great two idea. Two different great machines, point. but get there the same way. Great point, it's a great analogy. I wonder um, what we call this one, the Polaris or the K&M? I'd say this is probably the Polaris. Not to say that I like either <laughs> one of them more than the other guys. I'm not saying that, but it's a good truck. I'm very happy with it. So, great power. Interior looks cool. Wish this would work better. That's my biggest gripe. Is this radio? It's probably something that we just got to figure out to be like an adaptive on. You know, you come on here and it literally says clean. So yeah, probably got to get, get him out of there. He's he, he's done. Yeah. Um, oh, I, also the exhaust brake on this truck is better than that other truck. The brakes overall yeah, are better on for this sure. Truck. Like this thing, you know, not like we had to test it in any sort of emergency situation. Ever. Um, 40 feet after pulling out of someone's driveway, but um, if we did, I think this truck has better brakes than the other truck. <laughs> uh, so right. we're on our way to uh, meet up with Timmy Gentry for some breakfast and uh, then drop off his new truck. Frankie, how do you feel about that? Are you going to miss that truck? Uh, I'm telling you, I'm going to miss that truck for a few reasons. It's been around our town forever. Yeah. So I always like that truck. I always love Dooley, so we're definitely going to have to get something similar. Yeah, we'll find you something good. It's in good hands. He's going to do something cool with it. Right, yeah, so that's a, that was a cool selling point for me is some of the stories he thinks he's going to do with it, so I like that. Hey, that's what she deserves. Yep, yep. All right, on to breakfast. All right, Frankie, we're here with Timmy. Gentry and Son Trucking. The yeah. man. Truck's <laughs> going away today. Truck's going away. Bittersweet. Yeah. So I have to find something. Yeah, new. we're going to unload this truck. And uh, Timmy's going to be doing some cool stuff with it. If you want to find out more about what's going to happen with Frankie's old truck, head on over to Timmy's channel, Gentry and Sons Trucking. Yeah, I'm going to make Frankie really jealous and want to buy it. I'm probably going to have to come back down and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you a ride to come buy it. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> hey, well. Oh, you know what? I, just, I watched your video yesterday, and I just realized I don't have air conditioner. It's just oh. a hose. Oh, thank God. No problem. Man, I was really up. I was like, dang, what are yeah, we going to do about we had that? A, we had a new alternator put on it right before we come down here, and the, the line actually goes right over the alternator, yep. and the bracket must have got bent down a little bit, so it was rubbing on it. Well, so that's the only fix there. She's got air. I want to thank you guys for bringing this down to me, because I had to uh, bring that thing back, which was not supposed to happen, and... I was going to have to go all the way back down to Florida to get this thing. So I really do appreciate y'all bringing it back with your nice new toy. No problem. Hey, we had to test it out. We had to make sure it was good. I mean, I, what better way? That new is, truck can handle it. That is a very good test for it, too. And 
I'm, very, I'm pretty jealous that y'all bought that truck, actually. I really liked it. I mean, I damaged it for a reason. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you got us a great deal on it. <laughs> oh, no problem, guys. I, got <laughs> I knew you guys needed a truck, but heck yeah, that's awesome. All right, we're going to unload this thing, and uh, yeah, see it on Timmy's channel. Walk away oh, from us, Frank's truck. Boy, look at those lights in this town. That's how you know you're in a good spot. Old lights, they work. But anyways, we just left uh, Timmy Gentry's place. And if you want to see what happens to Frank's truck, head on over to yeah, the Gentry and Sons truck. To subscribe to him, check that thing out. Sounds like he's going to be doing some cool stuff with it. And we're going to be doing some cool stuff too, called driving home 10 hours. But anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the trip, uh, the Franken, uh, the Frankenrick trip. So, until next time, guys, again, we appreciate you subscribing, liking, donating on Patreon. All that stuff keeps us out here buying the parts on the parts site. We're uh, always looking for an adventure. So, if you guys find a truck for Frank, you know, let us know what you think he should buy. I think he's got his mind made up, but, you never know, we can, we can convince him. Yeah. He's a YXZ guy now. They're pretty good at sw persuading people. Persuading people. Oh, there's one over there. Nah, never mind. All right. All right. See you guys later.